A lot of people look at me like I'm out of my damn mind when I talk about cryptocurrency and how eventually it'll become part of the filmmaking ecosystem. But that day is already here. Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. One of the aspects of this channel that I am trying to keep my promise on is talking about cryptocurrency and how it's impacting the film market. And we have this news today from the Litecoin Foundation. Something happened today that is encouraging the adoption of cryptocurrency in the film industry, and that is the, the second annual Mammoth Film Festival, according to Litecoin Foundation. The Litecoin Foundation is excited to be sponsoring the second annual Mammoth Film Festival, taking place at Mammoth Lakes, California on February 7th, through February 11th, 2019. The festival, which debuted in 2017, was deemed, quote, the biggest first year film festival ever organized. This year, each winning filmmaker will receive Litecoin as part of the prize. The Litecoin Foundation will also have several team members in attendance who will be networking with the many celebrities and filmmakers and festival attendees, educating them about cryptocurrency and Litecoin and helping them set up wallets to, ex to experience the power of Litecoin firsthand. Now, it doesn't say what the prize is going to be for Litecoin, but Litecoin is tra currently trading at $34 uh, per Litecoin. It is the first, I think it's the first fork of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is open source software, which means that you can take that software and modify it. And what Charlie Lee did for Litecoin is he, he modified some of the parameters so that it's not 21 million Bitcoins, but it, he created something called Litecoin. And it'll be 84 million Litecoins mined at, uh, over the course of the entire lifetime of the Litecoin network. Now, it is one of the most traded and most valuable of cryptocurrencies on the market. It's also one of the most stable, despite the bear market that Litecoin's been in, actually that all cryptocurrencies have been in. But this is a really encouraging development. I've always believed that, that cryptocurrency can serve as a very useful tool for filmmakers and journalists and artists, especially those who are dispossessed or perhaps living in countries that are governed by oppressive regimes, but also for connecting audiences and filmmakers directly together. Now, maybe Litecoin isn't Steam where you literally have a social network, but it does allow for peer-to-peer -peer transactions from consumers and producers. If Litecoin continues to position itself as the silver to Bitcoin's gold and reaching out to filmmakers and becoming part of the filmmaking ecosystem like this, you're gonna see more and more adoption of cryptocurrencies in the filmmaking sphere. You already have films being made with Ethereum and ICOs, which stands for uh, initial coin offering, sort of like a security, like a stock offering. And that film is Braid. Braid dubbed itself as the first psycho thriller feature film ever produced on the blockchain. The goal of Braid's, which is a thriller, was to raise $1.25 million using an Ethereum ICO platform, creating a Braid token that each person holds in exchange for an investment in the film. I'm almost certain that Braid is not alone in the feature film category to use cryptocurrency as its financing platform, but it is the only one I could find today. There was another one I was looking at a year or two ago, and I can't seem to find it anymore on Google, so maybe the project didn't succeed, but it looks like Braid might have actually succeeded. Uh, there is a trailer, there is a really nice website for it, and they used a method called the ICO method, which was, like I said, it's, it's a raising capital via essentially the selling of stocks or shares in the film by creating a digital token using the Ethereum blockchain. Now that method I think is gonna go by the wayside very quickly because the SEC is coming down hoard on people who use ICOs to raise capital. They consider it a securities and securities require a certain threshold of knowledge or capital from the investor. They, they call it a um, accredited investor. Accredited investors have a certain threshold of wealth that they've accumulated and that is to uh, really separate the wheat from the chaff. And that meaning people who understand complex investments versus people who don't. Typically people who un understand complex investments uh, have investments, they understand investments, they routinely invest in things. The SEC regulates securities heavily and doesn't allow everyday people to invest in them unless it's through some kind of fiduciary company like Fidelity or Bank of America or Wells Fargo where you can, you can use them to trade stocks and bonds. But films don't work like that. So Braids use an ICO. Uh, Litecoin's getting into the filmmaking game with the Mammoth Film Festival. 
that's super exciting. Uh, like I own Litecoin. I think it is a fun currency. I think it's an important currency. It is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies on the market. And Charlie Lee is a stellar advocate and a long, and he is a, um, what's the word? What, what, he really cares about Litecoin and he cares about the cryptocurrency sphere. He's not out to make a buck or harm people. You do get a sense from his interactions online and how he guides the Litecoin Foundation that he really gives a shit. And I really want the creators of cryptocurrencies to really care. I also get that sense from a lot of people on the Steam network. They really care about the platform. The people who run the witnesses and whatnot. Some of the team of, of Steam is a little wishy-washy. They seem to be occasionally very communicative and very caring and really gung-ho about the platform. And other times they're kind of reticent to tell people what they're doing and things kind of happen uh, a little out of the blue, which is why I'm glad the community is there to police those kinds of things. And that's why I'm choosing Steam and Foundation as the initial crowdfunding platform for Changelings. It is peer-to-peer, -peer. It is the, the transactions are rapid. It makes supporting projects pretty seamless by just liking them. And it just works. I just love how it works. And it's just, it's, it's versatile. The users really care about the platform. Uh, the witnesses really care to protect the platform if they can. Steam is still a platform I want to pursue Changelings on. If I can be an example for other filmmakers to, to show them how they can utilize cryptocurrencies to not only reach a new audience, but also build a revenue stream just by creating on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm happy to be that guy. I'm happy to be the person, succeed or fail, that tries this, because I do think that this is the future of social networking and the future of commerce between artists and consumers. Links down below for the Mammoth uh, Film Festival and the announcement from Litecoin Foundation. Also down below is a link to Braids, the film that used Ethereum to raise a $1.25 million for their uh, psycho thriller. And for those of you out there who are interested in not only Steam and Litecoin, but how that interacts with the film industry and commerce in general, feel free to leave me suggestions below in the comment section. Uh, what you'd like me to talk about. If you have any scoops, I'd love to hear about them. And stay tuned for continuing development on what's going to happen with Litecoin and the Mammoth Film Festival, how Steam is going to be developing, and how Changelings is progressing on Steam. I've already raised over 20 bucks on Steam for Changelings. I only have another $16,980 to go, but I'm inching toward my goal. Inch by inch, step by step, I will achieve. I will succeed. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button. Find me on Steam and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.